everybody and welcome back to York River Cannabis. For this week, we're going to talk about harvesting our hemp, the process that we're going through to get to the final product. But first, if you're new here to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very, very much. It really does help out our channel. As you can see, I'm hot. It's hot. It's uh, today it got to 101. Uh, so we're still dealing with this heat. I'm not going to go over it anymore. I talked about it last week. It's just absolutely ridiculous. The plants are suffering from the plant, the heat. It's just not right for them to be in this budding stage with this heat. You can tell they're fatigued. But enough about the heat and the rant and the weather. We're just dealing with it, guys. So last week I talked about priority harvesting. Well, we priority harvested the cherry wine or the early cherry wine. Then I went and did the second third and then the bottom third. I really came up with a really cool contraption that I'll kind of share. And if, if you guys want, I'll make a video on what I do with that bottom third with the popcorn buds. It makes life so easy, guys. So that's it for harvesting. Um, if you haven't seen Soil Wars yet, obviously the big news is that we got trim bag to the farm, which is awesome for a ton of reasons well it's a time saver for trimming our bud later this year and we'll be making a bunch of videos with our trim bag but we were lucky enough to get the swag bagger and that's going to really help just finish everything up going to make our lives a lot easier when we get to that final step where quite honestly i can feel the fatigue of this whole growing planting harvesting setting in so the trim bag is just going to make our life a lot easier so let's walk around. I'm going to show you all the plants that we harvested and then I'm going to walk you through the harvesting process of what we did and how we're doing it from here. So you're going to want to hang around to see our hemp harvesting process. Okay, so this was two early cherry wines. Last week you guys saw them. They still had popcorn buds or mostly or partially harvested. These two were gone. The big one over there has been gone for a while and we had a couple early cherry wines in that row. So now we're starting on the Biox and let me take you around to them. So you can see I'm already starting that process. I start up here. No colas, just looks like a bush. Same thing here. And then we, we have this cola. So this plant was started. This one these Biox have about three or four colas on them. So this one has one left and we'll harvest probably tomorrow. And we'll keep moving on down the line and then we'll go around to the second third. And I gotta say, by the time I get to the bottom third, I can see that there's a little bit of an increased yield on some of those popcorn buds. So it may not be much in like three or four days time, but it's definitely something to be noticeable. So. Let's go over and walk you through our harvesting process. Okay, so one of the big time savers that I have is a bucker. I made this myself. It's literally two cinder blocks. I slide a bin under here for any kind of extra leaf or material that falls down. That way I don't have to pick it up later. And then I have a drilled hole here. It's about a 3 8 inch hole. And literally, guys, all I do... It's a lot easier usually when I'm not filming. It's just go like that. Boom. There's your buds. You clip out the leaves. Now, I've been using those popcorn buds for bubble hash. So all I'm doing is drying them kind of like biomass. And then I'm going to go freeze them. And then I'll make bubble hash later this year. And you can bet you I'll be making a video about that. So I'll walk you over here to our harvest station. Kind of what I do, a little set up here. So I've got all my trimming scissors. I use this bin to put all my like trim limbs. I've got these gray totes I sort out the branches in. That's the box I use just for my leaves and stuff. And that's it. Here's the wall of hemp that we have here. Here's our trim bag, folks. I'm excited. And there's the swag bagger. I'm really excited about both of these items. And like I said, you can look for a video on that. And then we've got this hanging. This is some Biox that we clipped today. All looking good. That one's going to get bucked and turned into bubble hash. There's nothing really worth saving. All those buds are small. And then we did get a drying rack this week. So you can see some of the stuff in there. This is... 
uh, the hash stuff I'm telling you about. So, and all you gotta do is dry it and then freeze it and then bam, you can make bubble hash. Obviously you're gonna have a process for that, but that's all you gotta do for those popcorn buds, which is really nice. So that's our setup, guys. You know, it's uh, it's been a process to even get this far. I know it doesn't look very professional, but it gets the job done for right now. Well, folks, that's all I have for you this week. I really do appreciate you watching this video, and if you wouldn't mind, please give me a thumbs up at the end. And I really hope that some of these tips of priority harvesting and even making that bucker for yourself to get through those popcorn buds uh, really helps you in your harvesting. And wherever you are, if you're watching this video and you're thinking that hemp is an instant cash crop, you are dead wrong. Dead wrong, guys. It's a lot of work. So take care, and we'll see you next week.